Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Yusuf, and today I'm going to solve some problems. Uh, first of all, we should uh, read the question carefully, and uh, second of all, we should write the given. It's gonna help us with solving this problem. Uh, after I'm reading uh, the question, I already write. Uh, I already wrote the givens. And uh, we need uh, we need to find the pressure rise in the tire when the air temperature in the tire rises to 50 degrees. Also determine the amount of air that must be bled of the restore pressure to its original value at this temperature. So we have to find delta P and uh, delta M, which is the mass of the tire. I already uh, wrote the givens, and here is the answer. Uh, number one, delta P. Do we have this formula? P, P2, sorry, over P1 equal T2 over T1. We need to find P2. P2 over P1 is 310 kilopascal. And then equal T two is three to three Kelvin and T one two nine eight Kelvin two equal to let me bring my calculator and after I calculate I use the shift solve to find P2 it's 336 Kilo Pascal. So delta P, it's gonna be P two minus P one equal three three six minus three ten equal twenty six kilo Pascal. This is the first one. Now I'm going to solve the second question which is delta M now we have this formula which is B1 V1 equal M1 RT1 P1 is 310 V, the volume. Sorry, I forget to write the volume. The volume of the tire is zero point zero two five meter cubic because the volume. The volume is constant because the uh, size of the tire doesn't change V it's 0 0.025 M1 we need to find it R is constant number this is R for the air 0, 0 0.287 T1 
0.2298 using shift solving calculator to find m1 is equal 0 0.09 kilogram now we need to find p2 but with the same pressure p1 p2 v is constant doesn't change equal m2 just going to need to find it now r is constant 2 r7 to 8 7 and t2 is 3 2 3 we calculate this we found sorry I have a mistake here P1 V2 M2 R T2 V1 310 V is constant 0 0.025 equal M2 times 0 0.0 0 0.287 times T2 is 323 after calculating M2 equals 0 0.084 kilogram. So delta M equal 0 0.09 minus 0 0.084 equal 0. 006 kilogram and this is the final solution thank you so much hello everyone uh, this is my second question after I read the question uh, we have to find the P gauge and FR and I already wrote the given the question they give me the diameter and i found the area which is uh, by the square over four the area is 7.85 four times 10 the power minus three because it gave me with centimeter And the velocity v1 equal v1 equal v2 because m dot 1 equal m dot 2 that's why v1 equal v2 because the same uh, flow rate because <coughs> of the uh, area the area here same the area here and first of all we have to find the p gauge and they have to write the formula which is now the answer is a p1 row plus v1 square over 2 plus g z1 equal p2 rho plus v2 square over 2 plus g z2 
I mentioned uh, earlier that V1 equal V2, so we have to cancel them. And GZ is GZ1 is zero because I have datum here zero. And now we have to organize this, which is. B1 minus P, which is P atmosphere. Sorry, P at both over by equal. G Z two and that's gonna be B gauge equal to Rho G Z two P one gauge equal Rho for the water is 1000 G the gravity 9.81 times Z2 it's 50 times 10 to the power 2 50 times 10 to the power minus 2 equal to Four nine zero five Pascal. Now P. Now B. We need to find FR. First, we need to draw the free body diagram. Here we have V1, P1, and the outer we have V2, and P2 is always the opposite for the outer. Our direction is going to be X and Z. And we need to find the force that is going to hold this elbow. It's going to be like this. F R Z F R X. Fr. This is it. Do we need to write the formula, which is sigma f equal sigma out beta m dot. V minus Sigma N Beta and dot V now in X direction the forces and the pressure in x direction so 
the force in x direction this one which is minus frx plus p1a Now in the outer, we don't have anything in x direction, so it's going to be 0, minus, for the inner, we have the uh, beta, which is 1.03. Times the mass, which is 40, 40 kilogram. It's given already. 40. And we found already the velocity. Five point zero nine three. P1 4905 the area 7.854 times 10 to the power minus 3 equal to minus 1.03 times 40 times 5093 and in calculator we put this shift solve to find if rx equal to four eight point four newton now same thing but in y direction z direction z direction z direction we have this force going up it's positive FRX FRZ sorry RZ minus P2A equal Beta and dot V2. This is for the uh, outer and this for the inner. We don't have any anything in, in the system in the direction, so it's gonna be zero. Now F R Z equal and this is zero because uh, p atmosphere is zero this one zero one point zero three times forty velocity is constant 5.093 and if r equal to 209 points 
it's the news. Now we need to find FR, which is the root of two four eight point four square plus two zero nine point eight square equal to three to five point one four Newton. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to solve my third problem. Uh, first of all, I'm going to write. I'm going to write the the given. A equal to five meter. It's already given here on the question. B equal <coughs> also five meter. The pipe, but only uh, on water from here to here. For all, it's one thousand kilogram over meter cube. Determine the force exerted on the plate by the ridge. So we need to find FR. First of all, we should write the formula, which is FR equal P plus Roji. S plus B over two sine theta A B P is zero because it's open atmosphere. S is zero. Sign zero of R equal one thousand nine point eight one five over two times five times five is equal to six one three one two five newton now we need to find yp this is fr and yp from fr to the surface the formula for yb is s plus b over 2 plus b squared Times plus B over two plus B O G sine theta. We don't have this. P is zero, so this is zero. Now I I 
p equal 5 over 2 plus 5 square with 5 over 2 equal 3.33 meter and now we should uh, draw the free body diagram it's gonna be like this this is a This is YB FR one three one six one three one two five. This is all six meter. Now, sigma m a equal to zero. Far. Zero. Now six one three one two five four point three three minus F B M six equal to zero. F B equal to four four. Two four seven one point nine Newton. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to solve my fourth problem. Uh, what do we need to find to determine the maximum pressure difference and the location of the maximum pressure? Uh, this is the location of the maximum pressure. Now I'm going to write the formula P2 minus and uh, we need to find the uh, delta P P2 minus P1 equal minus PAX times X2 minus X1 Minus rho G plus A Z times Z two minus Z one. This is rho. delta p equal minus rho density for the milk 1020 
minus 4. <coughs> minus uh, times 9 minus 0. Minus 10, 20 times 9, 8, 8, 1. Plus zero times zero minus three. That will be equal six six seven three eight point six Pascal. Thank you so much.